I absolutely adore the music that you guys make. And a lot of the stuff in the sort of classified in the Americana genre, I, I, I liken it to, for rock music, for instance, we were saying for the longest time that country music was the last bastion of rock and roll for guys and girls who really loved say Creedence Clearwater Revival or the Eagles and that kind of southern rock that's right yep and so now it's almost like Americana is the last bastion of country for those who actually like traditional country music that's right and can't find it on mainstream radio and you know the fa- the father of uh, of Western Swing, Bob Wills. I mean, I think he might be one of the. I think there's only one or two people that are uh, in the country music and in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. You know that 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 just shows people. I think sometimes people are a little scared of the name Western Swing, especially mm-hmm. if they're not necessarily a huge country lover. Mm-hmm. But within that genre. It's such an accessible genre because there's jazz, there's blues, there's, you know, we sing a whole bunch of jazz standards. We sing um, some, we sing swing, we do bluegrass. You know, there's so much that's involved in this music. I, I honestly can say that if you come out to a show, it's just feel-good music. You're going to feel good. The, you know, the musicianship is fantastic. It's that kind of feeling that you want to create, and uh, it really is such a wide it has such a wide berth i think i think anybody can like this kind of music we've got a lot of dancers that love our music and uh it just makes you feel good and there's so much going on in this world right now that doesn't make you feel good in the media and world being at our fingertips all the time there's a lot to there's a lot to worry about and there's a lot to be stressed about and this kind of music just celebrates having fun and feeling good and that's why we love doing it that's why we love bringing it to people if you're tired of truck beer truck radio this is exactly this is where you need to go come on out and uh (laughs) and sing some swing not that i'm trying to chase you away from radio mind you but (laughs) <laughs> hey, you know what? We love radio, and we've been lucky, lucky that radio has has even given us any opportunity whatsoever. It's been so hard. It's hard for most artists, especially independent artists like we are. Uh-huh. Um, but even as an individual um, independent artist, you know, it's it's tough out there. And uh, we've been given so many opportunities um, on radio that we never even, I mean, we weren't even going after that necessarily, Mm -hmm. and it's just kind of come along. Well, the thing is, a lot of times radio is where people go to hear the new music. The tough thing is that a lot of times programmers are pressured to uh, stay away from the something new or something different because they need to go with what is tried and true and tested and proves that it will do well for their listeners. So it's a, it's a little Absolutely. tougher. Part of the reason why I started Country Boss was that's the whole point. I, I think if people know about this incredible music that's out there, if they have somewhere where they can go and find out about it, they're going to love it and they're going to want to buy it. Absolutely. And I think I think the difference in this business now is that you don't necessarily only go to radio to find that new music. I think the I think the majority of the legwork has to be done actually by the fan these days. They have, yep. but they've got such access now. You've got online, you've got blogs, you've got streaming, all of that kind of stuff. Um, the business is changing. The music industry is changing. It doesn't necessarily mean that that good music isn't out there, but you do have to look in different ways to find it. So we're just trying to ride the wave of of being able to, you know, individually, we still work with top 40 bands. We still enjoy radio success um, on, on the top 40 stations. And, you know, to be able to ride that wave as an independent artist with, a, with uh, the WSA as well, we're, it's quite a ride.